Hey guys, I'm Natalia, the founder of Upskill Me. I create public speaking courses for non-native speakers, for people who present for business purposes, and not only business. And I also create online educational programs for non-native speakers who need to move to native-like level. If you have been following my page for a while, and if you have been reading my blog, or you probably have just found out about me and something resonates and you feel that there is something that you can learn and take for yourself, and you're asking yourself, where do I begin? What do I do first? I would like to give an answer to this question in this video. I personally believe that there is no methodology in the world and there is no theory in the world that's going to give you the right answer how to learn a language and how to move to a more advanced level in the language. You can learn about theories all day long and they're, they're not really helpful. This is why my approach is practice and feedback. If you want to try, there is a bunch of practical tasks you can do and you will receive feedback. The practical tasks are free and I give practical tasks in almost every video. Uh, in my Instagram stories and if you subscribe to my newsletter I regularly send practical tasks for everyone who uh, wants to receive emails from me on a regular basis. I don't send emails often, maybe twice a month, but when it comes to Instagram I post short small entertaining practical tasks almost daily and if you look at the highlights the two circles which are called practical tasks and task number two you will find more than 100 small practical tasks that you can do anytime you want and there, there are no deadlines and you will get personalized feedback on all the work that you do there are a lot of practical tasks inside my YouTube videos. Usually at the end of the video there are practical tasks. If you watch the live videos that I do on Instagram, there is always pra a practical task or several practical tasks inside a live video. And I say it very openly every time I do a video that everyone is welcome to come back with their work and you will receive individual personalized feedback. I want to make online education the way it's supposed to be because when education moves online it's very convenient, I agree, but at the same time we have to be very careful so that we do not lose the human interaction, the human component. Education is about communication. It's about this personal interaction between a student and a teacher and between one student and other students. It's very important to keep this personal. Unfortunately, I have seen a lot of online schools which instead of educating, they're offering people an entertaining video library and they tell them, well, you just watch the video lessons and you're on your own. I don't really think it's the right approach and people are not supposed to be on their own when they come to learn something new, something that they have no idea how to do, something that they haven't tried before and the first time they try, they're gonna fail. It's, it's the law, it's the law of life. It's okay. And expecting from people that they're gonna watch a video and learn to do something is very unrealistic. My philosophy is that people really need skills. People need to develop a sustainable skill. After you have watched a video one or two times, you have not developed a skill. You have learned something and um, something is a key word. When we watch a video, especially a video full of new information, usually a human brain is able to perceive 15% of what is being said. And in order to perceive the rest, 85% you need to do a practical task. You need to use, you need to apply whatever you have just heard. You need to do a practical task and this is when you're going to discover, oh, I thought I understood everything but looks like I didn't understand that part. So, and where do you go? So you take an online course, you receive a practical task in a video, beautiful. You start doing a practical task and you, oh, do I do it that way, left, right, uh, where do I find this? And you have so many questions about this practical task. Where do you go? How do I do this? I have 
been in this situation so many times myself and every time I found it very annoying because once you start applying what the great teacher tells you to do or you know I, I, this, this videos and this headlines and statements always make me laugh when people tell me I'm gonna share with you the secret method to do something it's like secret unique only for a selected circle of people and there is no secret method there is no selected circle of people everybody can do it how unique and this image and this reputation of secrecy is not necessary and in education absolutely it's only hindering the entire process of education when i say i've been in this situation myself what i mean is that i would start doing a practical task and then i would not know where to go for clarification because so many things were not clear it's the first time i'm doing this task and I either cannot contact a teacher, no one is responding, or some support team, contact center team is responding, and they have no idea, they're just a tech support team. Or I reach out to the teacher and the teacher would tell me, hmm, if you want additional clarification, you should book an individual consultation and it's $300. Oh, really? What is this education then about? Is it about selling um, a video library it's not about educating so the thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to sell video libraries full of ready-made recordings that are supposed to make my business more profitable and my life a lot easier because I care about education in order for people to learn something they need to do it themselves this is why if you're asking yourself where you should begin you should begin with practical tasks I have already told you where you can find them one more time Instagram newsletter YouTube videos, live videos on Instagram, my blog. If you read Russian, if Russian is your first language, there are two very good blog posts where I identify the algorithm of how you can develop fluency and what fluency really means and like very, very concrete steps and exercises that you can do to develop this fluency. You can follow me on Instagram. I post in Russian and if Russian is your first language, then you're gonna find a lot of interesting information there. I share a lot of self-correction algorithms. You have to know that you can always count on feedback, on individual and personalized feedback. You don't have to pay for that. I reply to every single person who has the desire to start and to actually work and who is not afraid to do certain tasks again and again and again. Because a practical task means that you submit a task, very unlikely it's gonna be correct. It means you're gonna receive feedback and the task again would be to do the task again, right? Now to correct your way of thinking and to do the task again, and you have to submit it again. And I should say not everybody has this stamina maybe and mm, potential and ability to accept that they need to do something again. Most people think that they, I don't know, they live with this idea that whatever they do the first time in their life has to come out perfect and it's never true unfortunately <sighs> unfortunately but actually i enjoy doing certain tasks again and again and again because every time i learn more and every time i discover layers you know there are so many layers and today i can see only three but tomorrow i can see five more layers down when i am looking at the same thing but i see more depth it's fascinating because I'm learning so much more and I'm becoming a different person. So if you want to try my approach and if you don't know where to begin, begin with a practical task. And if you want to learn more, you can jump right into my courses. And again, you cannot simply participate in the courses. You always need to apply. And the application process is already the first practical task. You apply and you receive feedback and it's free because you're doing the first practical task. What level of English is enough to begin? The answer to this question is very simple. If you're watching this video right now, if you understand everything I'm saying, your level of English is enough. I do not care about academic certificates. I care only about a person's desire to do the work and the person's readiness to perceive all the instructions and all the information in the English language because I teach in English 100% and I believe this is the right strategy if you want to learn to master a foreign language. Thank you very much for watching.